Henry, thank you for joining me. It's deeply appreciated. And today, NFL Foundation UK and Sport England have announced a new partnership which will be funding charitable events across Manchester and Birmingham. So would you be able to talk me through this in a little bit more detail? Sure thing. Yeah, the, um, the NFL Foundation is, is um, a foundation that we founded in the UK in 2021. <laughs> Uh, and the goal is really to use flag football programs and training to um, reach young people um, between the ages of about 12 to 20, um, give them sort of the chance to develop their skills and confidence um, through flag football and really find positive pathways um, that can help them in their future and help them reach their potential. So something we're, we're really proud of. Um, as I say, we, we launched it in 2021 and for the first piece, um, we're focused on London. Um, but we're really excited now to to be launching um, and reaching new charities in in Manchester and Birmingham, um, which are obviously really important locations for us, and and uh, excited to to be able to partner with with charities there to reach those kids. That's fantastic. And looking at the statistics that were emailed over to me, you're already working with two thousand five hundred young people in London, and fifty eight percent of them are female. So you're doing a brilliant job of expanding the sport within a female market. Yeah, that's right. I think the interesting thing is that because flag football is really new sport, let's say, compared to, to some of the other sports that kids might be reached through charities or in school, obviously football, cricket, rugby are, are you know, mainstream sports here. Um, I think there's less sort of baggage that comes with with flag football. It means that, you know, kids are really open to it and it's really accessible both for girls and boys. Um, so there's no one thinking, well, this isn't really for me because, you know, there's sort of preconceived notions of who should or shouldn't be playing the sport. And I think that's why we've been successful in in getting as many female participants as we have. And, and obviously that's one reason. I think the other one is it's an awesome sport that kids really love playing and have fun doing. And so not only are they trying it, but they're actually sticking with it as well. Well, that's fantastic. I suppose it's similar to the UFC in a way, where uh, these big female fighters in that sport get the mass publicity that the men do. And is that something you'd like in the NFL going forward? I think um, within the NFL, that's probably a little way off. But certainly in flag football, which is obviously what, what this sport is, what we're seeing is that, um, you know, there are women not just trying it or as kids but actually making a huge impact in in that sport as it's being played around the world and so we're really trying to highlight the girls that are, are taking that sport on and and playing you know at a national level and and excelling in the sport because i think it, it shows that there are pathways and it's a it's an accessible sport for for women um you know outside of the nfl itself and looking back at those statistics again, 75% uh, of the young people involved are of an ethnic background. And sometimes they don't get the opportunities to discover the pathways that they'd like. So it's a fantastic yeah. opportunity to, for them to discover something that's fun and helps them learn discipline and helps them just get engaged with something that keeps them fit. That's it. Exactly right. Um, and, you know, I think, again, flag football is, is, is such a fun sport to play. Um, that you know, the more we can get kids picking this up and and getting involved, I think it's only natural that we're going to have you know everyone involved. But again, to your point, exciting that we've got such a diverse and and especially in this case female um, group of kids that are, that are starting and, and picking up the sport. NFL and flag football in particular is growing at a rapid rate. And just a week or so ago, we had Effie Abada, didn't we, at Little Ealing Primary yeah. School. And he was engaging with the kids. We know what he's like as a character in general. He's full of personality, very charismatic. And it was great to see him inspiring the next generation of flag football players. Yeah, Effie's fantastic. He's a great ambassador for us. Um, he, I think you know, really loves to see kids picking up and playing the sport and is, as you say, really encouraging and enthusiastic about it when he's around kids doing that. Um, I think, um, you know, F.A. is such a terrific character. One of the things that probably isn't told about him, but is definitely true, is that he doesn't just show up to those events and then go away and not think about it. He continues to relate to those kids. He's texting with the kids that are doing that or in our NFL Academy in the UK. He really cares about you know them. And uh, and because he comes from a similar background to them, he's also tried to, to make as much of an impact as he can in their lives, not just through the flag football, but by being present as much as possible um, in their lives too. 
That's fantastic. It's great to see that he's not just a sportsman who's doing it to help the sport, but also somebody who genuinely wants to give back to the community. Exactly. And I think that's that's a huge part of NFL and what you're trying to do with this whole flag football initiative is give back to the community. That's right. Yeah, no, that's good insight. I mean, I think that that is what we need to do. We're really passionate about it. We know that um, that it's a it's a fun sport that it, you know if we get kids playing, you know, at the younger age, um, they're going to be more active. They're going to have a chance to experience the sport that way. But we also know that it helps them become fans of the sport. They're going to say, okay, this you know I've had a great time playing flag football, but I also want to watch the NFL. I want to watch the the best in action. And obviously, you know when we've got guys like FA involved as well from the UK, they're going to want to sort of see if they can follow his career too. So you know one of the the distant hopes, but something that we will continue to see happen is that those flag players, maybe one or two of them could eventually be the next group of FAs, um, the, the next group of players from the UK that actually make it into the NFL. I mean, who knows? They're out there playing in Las Vegas at the moment, so it's exactly. certainly a great opportunity for them. Exactly, exactly. And this thing that you've got running now in Manchester and Birmingham. It's great from an education standpoint, great from a mental health standpoint. So would you encourage everybody to get involved in this if they can? I definitely would. I think, you know, flag football is a, is a really fun sport to play. We're making sure that we're working with those community organizations and, 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 you know, what, where their focus is, are they focused on kids' mental health? Are they focused more on, on keeping them active? I think there's different ways that flag football can help in, in, in different areas. So rather than just saying, we're going to come and tell you how to run it, we want to make sure that we can also find the right charities in Manchester and Birmingham and, and sort of shape that partnership with them, um, with flag football at the base, but with, you know, the focus that they have for the kids that are in, you know, involved. Um, so that they're getting the most that they possibly can do out of out of the work that we will do together. And since launching in 2021, you've done so many different charitable things. And you think that's a staple of what you're trying to do right now. And we're going to see more of these sort of things happening because obviously we've got this in Manchester, in Birmingham, as well as London. But it's just going to go nationwide. Yeah, that's the goal eventually is, is for this to be across the country. I think we wanted to prove what we could do in London. Um, and then take it beyond London. Obviously, it's really important that we're reaching kids across the country. And, and uh, Birmingham, Manchester, are obviously our next focus, and we need to to keep our eyes on the prize there, if you like, because we really, you know, we've got to make sure that it's successful there. But that's not to say that we don't have ambitions to to take it much wider across the UK. And can you talk me through the application process for charities in Manchester and Birmingham that want to get involved? Yeah, I mean, you know, first of all, we would sort of just encourage as many uh, as many charities to to apply as possible. We, as I say, are looking to work with them to understand their needs and then sort of co-create those programs with them. Um, so there's no limit on numbers. There's nothing that they need to do other than obviously be um, registered as as a charity. Um, but what we want to hear is that um, they're going to be able to impact a lot of kids in, in a positive way. That's really the, the sort of the main focus is, is ensuring that we're partnering with the right charities to be able to do that. Well, thank you for joining me, Henry. It's deeply appreciated. You've enlightened me and hopefully the listeners as well, who perhaps don't know that much about flag football and are keen to get their children involved. But that's all my questions for now. Have you got anything that you'd like to add that you feel that I haven't perhaps mentioned? No, not at all, James. I mean, I think, you know, thank you very much for your time. I think just the important thing is if there's anyone who's either from a charity listening that thinks that this might be appealing or there are any kids listening that think that they'd like to, to get involved, um, you know, make sure that, that you apply or get charities to apply. And, and we look forward to, to working with um, them in, in Manchester and Birmingham.